hello guys i'm splash and welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'll be teaching you how to create the glass morphism effect using your smartphone be sure to like this video and subscribe for more amazing videos without further ado let's get into today's tutorial okay so i will be teaching you how i created the glass morphism effect on this particular design so um i will just create the shape i want my glass morphism effects to take the shape you want the effect to take it and try out different shapes either regular or irregular shapes on your design you can always zoom in to keep track of your alignment and don't forget to use the dead lines Okay, now after creating the shape you want your effect to work on so what we need to do now is to save both shapes differently save the um, shape and the design differently so i'll be hiding the shapes now and saving the design save on ultra for better quality So after saving your design, now we need to save only the shapes on a transparent background. So now we have to delete the other elements. We have to be careful while doing this. Let's delete other elements except the shapes. So now I'm going to put the shapes on a transparent background and save them separately. After saving, you can now restore your design. So what we need to do now is to blur the image so we'll be going over to chrome now to do that real quick so now we are on chrome so you just input the website www.pinetools.com slash blur image i'll be dropping the website link in the description So after the website is on, you have to choose the file. So you'll be choosing the design you want you want to blow. The design we saved earlier. So head down to your files and this is the design. So that's what we selected. So now the design is here. So the blow um, type of blow we are using is the stack blow. So your radius should be on 60. The radius should be on 60 then you blow the image it will blow automatically just have to wait for it so now the blood image is ready so you can save on either png gpg or webp so i save on png so now we'll save the image then go back to pixel lab So now we are back on pixel lab so what we'll be doing now is we'll be importing the shapes we made those transparent shapes we'll be importing them so you don't need to tamper with them just go to the relative size 
go to the relative size and increase the width and height to 100 so well, the idea now is to make the the texture of the shapes the blur image we made on pine tools so now we'll just go to textures then select the blood image we just downloaded yeah so then you just set it as your texture then that's that's it so what we need to do now we can as you can see there are like white lines on the edges of the shape so we need to kind of make them blend, blend with the background so you go to inner shadow and enable the inner shadow Then you set your color to white then you blur radius to about 15 or 15 then reduce the opacity of the white color reduce the opacity to around at this point here. so this is basically how you can create the glass morphism effect on your smartphone thank you for watching be sure to like this video and subscribe if you are new and Comment below what you want to see in the next video.